YouTube. What's up? It's your boy, Wade Man Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. Before anything, I just got to. I gotta apologize to y'all. Listen, y'all have been asking for this video for so long. Like, it's crazy how long y'all have been waiting for this video. And you know the craziest thing about this? I actually recorded this video before. Like, I'm not even playing. I recorded this video before and I just never uploaded it. Like, I edited, I edited it, edited it, edited, it, edit. It, edit id the video i put it on youtube as an unlisted video i actually took two like takes of the video the first one like the first take and the second take aren't even in the same day like i did a lot to get this video done and then i just never uploaded it and i probably never will upload it honestly just because the way that i do my videos and everything is all different now like i have different standards of what i want to put on my channel the lighting's different, the backgrounds are different. I mean, this is not the best background, but better than what I had in that video. Fun fact, I actually do this a lot. I record a lot of videos that I never even upload. I record them, I edit them, and then I never upload them. Sometimes it's because I don't finish recording them, but a lot of times it just happens by itself. I just forget to upload it and then I never do. It's almost been like a full year since I recorded that video so that's a good sign of how long it's been since y'all asked for this video but there's no need to fear wave man mike is here and i'm about to give this video to you so if you're ready for this video go ahead and press that like button let's try to get at least a hundred likes within the first hour can we do that that seems like a stretch can we get at least 200 likes within the first day i would like to say that's a stretch but the video i uploaded today like the day that i'm recording this video got 200 likes in like two hours so if that video can do that i know this video can do it because that was such like a vague video but this is like a very specific video that i know people are searching up so let's try to get as many likes as possible on this video and that can only happen if you yes you press the like button so go do it right now and go comment down below press the like button just like that comment that press the like button anyway let's get this video started okay how to get 180 waves for some reason a lot of people have this question i feel like more people ask about this than how to get 360 waves like seriously is it that much harder i feel like the part of it being so specific to what part of your hair that the waves are going to form at is the part that throws people off so first up let's discuss like haircuts and everything like that my preference if i were to get 180 waves i would say i would get a fade like i can't imagine trying to get 180 waves and having any other haircut except for a fade because why would you want to have waves only on the top but your hair is the same length on all the sides like that doesn't make sense to me it only makes sense if your hair is too short on the sides and on the back then of course you wouldn't have waves on that area anyway right so i would say only get 180 waves if you have a fade of some sort because if you don't have a fade why not just go ahead and get 360 waves or 540 or 720 waves whichever one you like now let's explain what 180 waves are Okay, waves have a naming scheme. For some reason, 180 waves does not follow that naming scheme at all. Look at all the types, the patterns of waves and tell me that 180 waves follows that. Exactly, you can't tell me that. 360 waves is a pattern. 540 waves is a pattern. 720 waves is a pattern. 180 waves is not a pattern. It's just saying how many or what places the waves are on your head. When you think of 360 waves, what do you think of? Your waves going all the way around your head 
in a horizontal pattern, 540 waves, waves going in a diagonal pattern, 720 waves, waves going in a vertical pattern. 180 waves has nothing to do with the pattern. All it means is that the waves are on the top of your head. But then again, I guess that's kind of what 360 waves mean too. Cause some people, they don't think of it as the pattern going horizontally around your head. They just think of it as your waves are everywhere. Me, I personally have like a mix between 360 and 540 if you look at my hair. My waves look kind of rough right now, so don't roast me in the comments. I mean, if you, you could if you want to, but I prefer you not. Maybe I might roast you back. I probably won't, but maybe. But yeah, that's what 180 waves are. When your hair has waves on the top section only. You don't have hair on the sides and you don't have hair on the back. For me, the name 180 is kind of weird. It's more like 90 waves to me. 360 divided by four, I'm pretty sure is 90. 180 is half of 360, which if you're going based on how people are thinking of it, wouldn't 180 be your top in like half of your sides? But I guess not, I mean, um, I don't know. Maybe it's not based off of that at all. Maybe that's just the name just because that's what they wanted the name to be. But enough describing what 180 waves are, let's learn how to get them. So how do we get 180 waves? That's a good question. You could also ask yourself, how do you get waves in general? How do you get 360 waves? Because it's all kind of the same. I mean, it's not that different, is it? There are things you can get away with though when you're trying to get 180 waves that you can't get away with when you're trying to get 360 waves. But those same things, I still wouldn't recommend you doing. For example, sleeping without a do-rag. With 180 waves, you might be all right, but I wouldn't recommend it. But let's get to that stuff later. Let's talk about how to get 180 waves right now. Okay, things you'll need. We're just gonna assume that you are a beginner and you've never had waves before. Let's play a trivia game. There'll be a card somewhere at the top of the screen, if I remember to put it up there. Now that I said that, I'll probably forget to put it up there, but let's just hope I remember. But if I don't remember, make sure to go comment down below the answer in the comment section. Okay, here's the question. What is the most important thing when you're trying to get waves? Answer number one, the do-rag. Answer number two, the brush. Answer number three, the pomade. Or you can call it grease. Go press your answer in, you know, the little thing that's gonna pop up at the top of the screen. If I remember to put it up there. If I don't, you just, you know, comment it down below. All right, let's see was your answer correct. It was the brush. You wanna make sure that you're brushing your hair enough that your waves can actually form. Brushing your hair causes muscle memory, muscle memory, for your hair. Kinda of like working out, right? You wouldn't just go to the gym one day and then expect the next day that your biceps are just gonna be busting out your shirt, are you? No, just like you're not gonna brush your hair for one day and just expect your waves to be swimming. It doesn't work that way. The same way that you have to go to the gym repeatedly and constantly work out is the same way you need to pick up that brush and constantly brush your hair. It's literally no difference. Do you hear a difference? Because I definitely don't. So you need to train your hair to be in that wavy stage or wavy state. If you want to learn how to train your hair, I have a video on that. So go check that out. Also, if you really just can't get waves, I have a video on that too. It's called, I brush my hair, but I still don't see my waves. And I have another video called, why can't I get waves? Y'all can check all those videos out. While I'm telling you to check out my other videos, make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell. Also make sure that you have the notifications on for all of my videos. But yeah, you're gonna need a brush. This particular brush is from a company named Smooth Styles. You can get these from smoothstyles.com and you can get a discount if you use my code WAVEMAN. You'll get a 20% discount from your entire purchase if you use my code WAVEMAN. So basically with the brush, what you do is brush your hair. Whichever way you brush your hair, 
is whichever way that your waves will form. So if you brush your hair forward, your waves will form forward. If you brush your hair diagonally, your waves will form diagonally. Brush your hair to the side, your waves will form to the side. Heck, maybe if you brush your hair backwards, maybe your waves will form backwards. That's a huge maybe. But the other ways are guaranteed. And remember, only do this to the top if you want 180 waves. If you do it anywhere else, I can guarantee if your hair is long enough and you do it enough, your waves will form on those other places. No bueno. That's not what you want. You want 180 waves. You didn't ask for 360 waves. You're going to end up getting something that you didn't sign up for. Besides the brush, what else do you need? You're going to need something to assist you in holding your hair down. This is a pomade. There's other pomades like Murray's pomade, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and recommend 360 style only because it was the closest one for me to pick up. I, I didn't feel like going and getting up and picking up something else. So I just grabbed the closest thing to me and it works. All of them that I recommend work. They all do the same thing. They assist. They're the Scotty to the Michael, you know, Scotty Pippen, and Michael Jordan. They, you know, it's not doing the same thing that a brush does. The grease or the pomade doesn't give you waves. The brush gives you waves. The pomade is just holding your hair down, which is helping your hair wave up. So what I would say do is get some of the pomade, put it on your finger, then rub it in your hands, and then rub it in, well, you would really only need to rub it on the top part of your hair, and then go ahead and brush your hair. Since it's only the top part of your head, I would say you can go ahead and brush just the top for probably about a hundred strokes. You could do more than that if you want. I actually recommend that you do more than that. Do anywhere from 100 to however many you want. It can be, you can do that same spot of your head for an hour straight if you want. All that's gonna do is make your waves come faster and look better. And when you finish doing that, Go ahead and get your do-rag, put it on, and leave that do-rag on until you feel like taking it off. Also, make sure that you're wearing your do-rag to sleep. This goes back to what I was talking about, how you can get away with certain things with 180 that you can't get away with 360. If you sleep without a do-rag with 360 waves, game over. Because there's so many parts of your hair that are going to be touching your pillow. All the back, all the sides, that's all going to touch your pillow. With 180 waves, there's a good chance that you're not touching your pillow with the top of your head. Unless you're doing a handstand in the bed or something. I mean, I see like maybe if your pillow flips and rolls on the top of your head. But something like that. But that doesn't mean I would recommend you sleeping without a do-rag. Because there's always the chance of it messing up your hair. And a do-rag protecting your hair is not its only function. The do-rag is also there to hold your hair down and lay it down, which is very essential. But that's pretty much all I can think about to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and press the like button. If you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and press the like button. If you don't press the like button, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do anything. Because you pressed the like button, didn't you? Hopefully you actually pressed the like button. If you didn't press the like button, no bueno. I'm doing this to help you and you can't even press a button to help me like that's that's messed up. Watch this video get like a thousand views and like 30 likes. Wow, that's sad. It's because of you who didn't press the like button. I'm not talking about you who did press the like button. I'm talking about you who didn't. That's horrible of you. Just know your guardian angel is watching you be a selfish person. They're going to remember that. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I'm Wade Man Mike. Subscribe, comment, and like. Press the notification bell. Share this video. Enjoy your day.